But let me tell you, I mentioned Gruden for one specific reason, because yesterday he addressed the future of his quarterback, Derek Carr, who's right. getting to the point of his contract where it would be very easy for the Raiders to move on. Yeah. And Gruden was specifically asked yesterday about this prospect of going forward as the Las Vegas Raiders with Derek Carr as the quarterback. Here's what Gruden had to say. Is that a certainty that your quarterback is here? Yeah, he, he played. He played good. I'm not going to get into all the next year scenarios. I'm just going to say that uh, you know seven and nine is a step forward. You know, we took a step forward. You know, statistically, I think we took a step forward. We got to get a lot of guys healthy, and we got a lot of things to look at and evaluate before we start making any assumptions. Now, here's the thing: if Andy Reid gets asked that question about Patrick Mahomes, if John Harbaugh gets asked that question against uh, about Lamar Jackson, yes, right, pick a young franchise sure. quarterback, right. They're not going to say, I'm not going to get into next year's scenarios. They're going to say, well, are, are you kidding? Of course he's our guy. Right. What are you talking about? You're going to ask me that question? Do you watch football? So the mere fact that John Gruden answered the question the way he did shows that Carr's status I agree. is in doubt. And uh, they're going to look around and see what's out there. And, Chris, uh, yeah. there are plenty of guys out there this year. I did a post at PFT the other day listing all of them. I forgot some of them. I had to yeah. go back and add Teddy Bridgewater. There are plenty of guys who are either going to become free agents or who are going to likely be available via trade or they're going to be released. There, I'm like, there's over 15 right. quarterbacks out there with recognizable names. And I just think that, that uh, John Gruden is going to be looking for somebody else, whether it's Jameis Winston or someone else. I think they're going to look and see what else is out there. And uh, I think Derek Carr could very well be gone. Yeah, I, 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 it's a really tough one. It really is. And, and I don't, you know, Derek Carr's play was good. It was solid. There's no doubt about that. I think what's going to drive John Gruden crazy is, you know, maybe that lack of grit and leadership and fire and things like that. Gruden likes those kind of guys. He likes Rich Cannon. He liked Jeff Garcia. You know, he was, you know, egging me on as a young quarterback. Hey, you got to, you know, sometimes swear at guys and tell the offense they got to do better and, you know, be that guy. He wants that. And I don't know if Derek Carr has that aspect that John Gruden likes, let alone I do think Gruden likes that kind of guy that can kind of take over a game when his play doesn't work the right way. Ooh, he's my get-out-of-jail-free card, this guy, because he can move, extend a play, do all those things. That's where I just go, eh, I don't know if Derek Carr's the guy, but yet is there somebody better out there to replace him? And Derek Carr's play was good this year, and it's not like he was surrounded by ultra-high level talent at the wide receiver position. So, yeah, he's going to do his due diligence. I just don't know right now, sitting here, you know, December 31st, if I see a guy that I could say that's going to be a free agent and go, oh, he's better than Derek Carr. I could see them taking, taking a shot on him. Or different. That may, it just, it yeah, may not be may, better. It may yeah, just it may be, be different. different. It may be right. the same as Derek Carr, but with that fire, right? right? And I recall vividly two years ago, when it first started to emerge that John Gruden was under consideration to return to the Raiders and we were getting those, and somebody contacted me who is very plugged in and said, this isn't going to last between John Gruden and Derek Carr. It is not going to last. And I'm surprised it's lasted two years. And the reason it has, I think John Gruden has restrained himself. Sure. And, and he, there, there was so much talk about could John Gruden and Derek Carr mesh. And, and Gruden was very careful to, to make it clear, you know, I'm not, a raving lunatic. And I think he used words to that effect. I understand how I'm going to have to deal with this guy. And I think he'd prefer to be the raving lunatic. I think he wants to be the guy who is full blown hundred percent John Gruden all the time and does not want to have to restrain for fear of, of a shattering of fragile ego. I hear you. And, uh, and, and so that's, I, I think two years of John Gruden, not being John Gruden, it's probably enough for him. And he wants to go back to being John Gruden. You got to be true to who you are. That's I mean, I right. respect anyone who is true to who they are. And he believes, as you've said before, if you're, if, if, if playing in the game is a break from what you have to deal with during practice and during meetings, that makes you more prepared for the game. That's right. right. I it think was... he wants to be that guy. Yeah. Hurry up. You don't hurry up. Get out of the huddle. 10, nine. I mean, that was every day of my life. Hurry up, make the check. And when I got out in the game, I was like, holy cow, thank God that little 5'7 Napoleon is not behind me anymore. This was a great. I was like, this is so fun. I don't have to deal with Mussolini anymore. This is great. And it, was, it, it worked. It did. I felt no pressure in the game because I didn't have him breathing down my neck. Oh, but you still have to deal with Mussolini. Sorry, you, you, you can run, but you can't hide. 
Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.